I got the electro harmonics envelope filter here. First thing I would say for using this pedal is that it's best to put it at the very start of your signal chain. And I actually got this idea from Mason Marangella. He has a really good channel of vertex effects, but I'll show you what that looks like on my signal path, just as an example. So here's my board, right? I would put the envelope filter right here, right at the start. So my guitar is there, filter right at the beginning, and then my amp is over there. And then uh, these two pedals and these two pedals are in the effects loop. Originally, I had the envelope filter after the tuner. I always put the tuner at the very start of the chain for some reason. I guess because I read that online, but I find it sounds best if you put the envelope filter, same with your wah and stuff like that. If you put it right at the beginning of your chain, I feel like that's how you get the most out of it. <laughs> Hugely important part of this pedal too is, is actually the drive. That's the drive right there. I usually set up to about halfway. And what it does is that it adjusts the sensitivity of the envelope filter to your playing. So in other words, it's how sensitive is it and how, how easy is it to trigger the envelope filter to actually work with your playing? Because the envelope filter is automatic and it responds to the intensity of your pick attack. So if you have a really light touch, you're best to put the drive way up. And if you have a really hard touch, then you put the drive way down. See, it doesn't really work. It drives all the way down. So that means it's gonna take an impossibly hard pick attack in order to trigger the envelope filter. So we'll put it like, let's say right there. That's still not enough. Go up even more. There we go. And I'm giving it quite a bit of sauce. Let's try even a, a bit more. There we go, that's more like the normal range. Now, if you crank it all the way up, it's almost like too much, right? But if you're using a very gentle touch, it's all right. See how it sounds all right? Make sure you don't sleep on the additional filter options too. When I originally started using this pedal, I thought that the low pass was the only way to go with this. But no, after after playing around with it a lot more, I find that you can really get some cool sounds with the band pass and the high pass as well. So make sure you don't become dependent on one. It's easy to make the mistake, especially if you record. Like if you record into your DAW, whatever you're using, um, you might find that something that sounds a lot better when it's when it's played back to you. Because when it comes out of your amp, like I find, I find that the high pass and, and the in the band pass. It doesn't sound that good in my current room, but when I record it and listen back with headphones, I, I actually kind of like the way that the high pass and the band pass sounds a lot. Make sure you give all three of them a, a solid dry and you actually listen to your playing after via recording. <laughs> But with the band pass, it's more and more of a regular thing. In fact, I would say that the band pass, it's almost like a, a happy medium. It's like the best of both worlds. Yeah, man, pretty cool stuff. Put it back down to band pass. Band pass sounds great on the lower strings, or low pass, I mean. 
Additionally, I find that using the neck pickup is the best way to use this pedal. It makes like a really creamy, warm sound, and I find it's just a lot more pleasing to the ears. Maybe that's just me, I don't know, but I find that the neck pickup is it's the best way to go. Yeah, it could just be me, but just to me, it just sounds better with the neck. Let's try uh, with the high pass though. Try that with the treble pickup. I don't know, it's still kind of cool, but I like the low pass the best. Another thing that's cool about it too is that your pickup volume, it matters quite a bit when you're using the envelope filter. And I guess it makes sense, especially if you're using active output, like if you're using EMG pickups like I am, the volume is gonna determine how much you trigger that envelope filter. So if you have cranked pickup volume, it's gonna be a lot easier to trigger the envelope filter. But if you have it barely audible, you're not gonna be able to trigger the filter as easily. And you may have to compensate for that, excuse me, with the drive function on the pedal. <laughs> So you can't really trigger it when your pickup volume is halfway. But if you keep turning it up. Another thing that's cool about this pedal, this is kind of, some people might say it's cookie cutter advice, but I find it's cool to experiment with some other effects with this too. I'm still working on that and figuring out what goes best with it because not everything goes well with this. One effect or rather two effects that do go with it, as you might be able to guess, is reverb and delay. I mean, they go with everything, but uh, I find you can really get some cool sounds with reverb and delay, like, you know, some uh, like funk 70s, you know, kind of vibes. <laughs> My final tip is to experiment with using your fingers and your pick. Um, I find that you can really get some cool sounds if you if you play like that. Admittedly, I'm not the best at that style, but I find that it, you know when I play around with a little bit, particularly things like octaves and chords, you can get some cool effects out of it. Ultimately, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'm still using this thing all the time and figuring out the best way to use it. So maybe I'll make another video with some more tips. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you and I'll see you in the next one.